Suppose a uniformly charged wall provides a uniform electric field of 2 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per coulomb normally. So here we have wall, it's actually a two dimension wall, but I have shown in one dimension. A charged particle of mass 2 gram being suspended through a silk thread of length 20 centimeter. So here we have a silk thread whose length is 20 centimeter and a charged particle is suspended here whose mass is 2 gram. Uh, and remain stayed at a distance of 10 cm. So it is at a distance 10 cm from the wall. Now then the charge on the particle will be 1 by root x micro coulomb that is q equals to. So we have to find the value of x here. Now see what is happening here the electric force due to this charge plate or charge wall is uh, trying to push this charge particle away. So the force electrostatic force acting on the charge is q into e and the gravitational force is pulling in this direction and these two forces are balanced by this tension. The component of the tension T here it becomes T cos theta because there will be angle theta here and this is T sin theta. So T sin theta is balanced by QE, T sin theta is balanced by QE and T cos theta is balanced by mg. So T cos theta equals to mg. If you take the ratio T, T will get cancelled. Sin theta by cos theta is 10 theta equals to QE by mg. If you make Q subject then it is mg 10 theta by E. Now here the value of mass is 2 grams. So it is 2 into 10 raised to minus 3. Value of G is 10 and the value of electric field is 2 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per coulomb. Now what is the value of 10 theta? Now to find the value of 10 theta right either you can use this 10 is it 10 theta equals to opposite by adjacent okay or there is one another uh, kind of equation is see if you see here sin theta is equals to opposite by hypotenuse so opposite is 10 centimeter and hypo is 20 so it is 1 by 2 so sin theta is 1 by 2 means theta equals to 30 degree means the angle here is 30 degree so 10 30 is 1 by root 3 right 10 30 is 1 by root 3 so if you solve this, this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Okay, here it is 10 raised to minus 3 and this become 10 raised to minus 4. So 10 raised to minus 7 into 10. So it is 10 raised to minus 6. So 1 by root 3 into 10 raised to minus 6. If you compare with this, okay, then it is 1 upon root x into um, uh, 10 raised to minus 6. So x becomes 3.